Hello everyone, welcome back to AB Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn some interesting tips and tricks in Adobe Premiere Pro, which will make your workflow faster and smoother. Let's begin. Tip number one, audio mixing. Whenever we are doing interview videos or narrative video, we have to adjust the background music with voiceover. Most of the time we do it manually and it will take lot of time too. To make the workflow faster, you can use essential sound panel. If you are not able to see this window, just go to window and find the essential sound over there. Now we have to tell Premiere Pro which category these audios are. In my case, one on the top is the voiceover and next to that is music. So first we have to select the top layer and then click on the dialog option. Now we have to select the second layer and then click on the music option. In this music, scroll down and find the ducking option and enable that first. For now just keep the same values and then click on the generate keyframes. See we got the keyframe for in and out. Just play and check if you are finding it's not going on the right path then play with these values and again press the generate keyframe. That values will get update automatically. Always remember that whenever you are updating the values, you have to press the generate keyframe to reflect your changes. In the dialog panel also, we have lot of options like you can match the audio level or you can reduce your noise and many more options are there. So just give it a try. Tip number 2. Collect file and copy. If you want to take backup or send the project file with all the footages, then go to file and go to project manager. First make sure your sequence is selected. Next check whether the collect file option is selected and then select the right destination path. Make sure these options are proper. If you want to know how much space it's going to take, then just click the calculate and check it and then click OK. Hey, if you are new to our channel or visiting our channel for the first time, you are welcome. And if you are interested to learn this kind of stuff like animation, editing or anything related to design, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to join our community. Now let's get back to our video. Tip number 3. Nesting In After Effects, we used to pre comb a couple of layers for many reasons. And in Premiere Pro also we have the same option called nesting. Just select the layer, right click on it and then select nest. Type the exact name for your reference and click OK. If you want to edit the clips, just double click on it and it will open as a separate window, same as After Effects. Tip number 4. Creating dynamic link between After Effects and Premiere Pro. To create some interesting effects, you may need to work on After Effects. For that, you can create a dynamic link between these two softwares, which is Premiere Pro and After Effects. First thing, After Effects has to be open and saved. Now select the clip and right click on it and then select replace with After Effects composition. That's it. See, now you can easily do the effect and it gets updated instantly. Hey, if you need more detailed tutorial on Premiere Pro, After Effects or anything related to animation or design, ask your questions on our pages like Twitter or Instagram or any social medium or you can use the comment box below as well. I'll try to make a video as soon as possible. Tip number 5. Adding captions. Adding captions for your video takes more time. In Premiere Pro, we have a solution for that. If you click this icon, you'll get this pop-up. From here, you can select captions or you can go to file and new and then select the caption. I'm choosing open caption for this video. You can choose as you wish. 
the caption layer will be created in the project bin. So you have to go to project bin from there just drag and drop the layer to the timeline. To edit that just double click on that. Here you can type your text. To adjust the duration extend the layer first and then move this marker as you will wish. To add more captions click the plus button over there. Like this you can add a captions or subtitles for your video. Okay guys, hope this video was informative. If you find this video was helpful, give a thumbs up and support our channel by clicking that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, it's AB signing off.